Hello guys! I welcome you to my next part of Nickelodeon Kart Racer 2. I took on the first wave of challenges in the last video, and now it's time to take on the second wave. Of the first wave, I unlocked Stanley Phantom as a new character, and well, I don't think you can tell who this next character is, but well, you probably can if you're familiar with the show he's from by the title of the final challenge of this wave, but right now, I'm going to focus on, you know, from top to bottom. So here we go, this one is a battle race. And you don't necessarily have to take out all the racers, you just have to make it to the finish line and complete all three laps without losing all your hearts. And let's see, I'm gonna... Yeah, I'll just go with... Let's just go with these crew mechanics for now. And... Yeah, go in with all this. I'm ready. Not sure if I mentioned this already, but most of the challenges, uh, they force you to play as a certain character. There are some that let you choose. Well, mo well, usually that's, uh, uh, usually all of the, uh, boss races let you choose. So here's Double Trouble. And I am so gonna win this. Everyone starts off with five hearts. Out of the way, cat dog coming through. And you're all losers. Aw, oh, I just got hit. Give me those tokens, they're all mine. All mine, I tell you. Oh no, you're not gonna... Nope, not getting hit here. Here, have a ball. And I do mean a ball. Oh jeez. Not nah, win. Well, I'm glad I got Eugene by my side. Oh, oh, that was close. I'm glad that ball came. Yeah, that's right. Have a note, too. No attention to those fire hydrants, dog. You're in the middle of a race, and I accidentally steer the wrong way. Of course, another ball. Well, I am in first place, after all. Final lap. I just realized I only have two hearts left. Oh, jeez. Good. Just gonna keep blowing people up with that lock, because they all deserve it. Pepper just took out Clyde. Yeah, the game tells you which uh, racer took out who. I also just realized I'm way ahead now. Too late, Jellyfish. Victory is mine. Huh, and it didn't zap my characters anyway. So the new crew member, Lola and Lana. Alright, next challenge. So next is Help Wanted. So you've got to hit 25 targets with your Krabby Patties. And you don't have to shoot at anything at the targets this time, you just have to crash into them. And the Krabby Patty is permanent, apparently. I do love permanent items. Don't you? Okay, I'm ready. I know you're ready, SpongeBob, and so am I. Okay, where are the targets? There are some. You know, I'm already missing too many. I made... Somebody tells me I'm gonna have to restart this. Give me 
be those, and those, and those. Oh, miss them. This would be easier if I had a handbrake feature. Okay, I'm restarting. Just as I figured. better here. Give me those, and those two, and those two. Better get this too, if I can. Okay, one more. I definitely got this. Aw, oh, crap. That was better. And now I unlock Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Okay. Next one. So next is Ghost Hunt. Trap all enemies in the Pendant Firmus. No problem. Good thing the Pendant Firmus sucks in the opponents. The same way that it sucks up all of the ghosts. Yeah, I did used to watch Danny Phantom a lot back in the days. I loved it. Here, have this. That's one out. Come on, halfway done. Yeah, put one right in front of the portal. How about that? Okay, one left. Yeah, all right. See, that was easy. And for that, I unlock Sam. By using Sam, you can now use the Pendant Firmus during a race. And it is pretty... It is pretty useful. Well, you now you know now who the unlockable racer is, and it's Stimpy. But I'm not gonna do that yet. So the next challenge, all about Angelica, of course. So let's use Sam now that I unlocked her. Slime tokens give a boost. Yeah, well, why not? And yeah, I'll go with that too. Okay, I'm ready. Out of my way, losers. A three year old girl coming through. Eat no losers. And oh no, I'm not eating that ball. You can't make me. Oh, piano time. Ah, oh, crap. Help me all you want, I can still win this. Those pinks right there look like fidget spinners. Wouldn't you agree? Those have got to be fidget spinners. What else would they look like? Oh, so there was only one lap. Alright. Ah, so you unlock Spike for this one. 
Everyday All-Star. Beat the time limits? Okay. Th that won't be a problem. So in this challenge, you play as some girl named Jojo Siwa, or Saiwa, or whatever. I have no idea who she is, or what show she's from. At first, I thought she looked like some kind of Barbie doll girl or something. Yep, I'm just going around collecting clocks. Aw, oh, crap. I guess I needed to use some kind of power-up to get the clock and then make that jump. But as I was saying, I'm just going around collecting clocks, just like in Back to the Future on NES. Don't you hate that game? Because it's all LJN's doings? Okay, let's not talk about that. This challenge is all about time, so let's have clocks. Does this make you wonder if this game was designed by a human being? I don't really care myself. I just missed one, but who cares? I'm gonna make it anyway. Challenge done. Time is always by my side with these challenges. So for this one, you unlock Casey Jones. Huh, all right. Blue, blue spark drifts boosts are even better. Now that's gonna be pretty useful for one of the future challenges. And it's one challenge that's a, you know, a really big pain. And I just can't stand it, but I don't have to worry about that right now. So for this one, you gotta get three blue sparks and then win the race. And this is where Casey Jones can come in handy. So, so I better go with him. And Mrs. Puff can also come in handy. Uh, yeah, standard again. I'll get those three blue sparks, all right. What harm could it be? Here, have triple balls. Much like getting three green Koopa shells. Oh, there we go. All right, that's the first part. Oh, there's the purple, and good, that's two. Oh, Jellyfish and Hans. I hate that combination. I really hate it. Ah. Uh, okay. Come on. Yes. So the challenge I mentioned, that's a big pain is just like this. You gotta get a certain number of blue spark drifts, and it's gonna be way harder than this. It's another challenge where you play as Cat Dog, by the way. Jellyfish again! 
and I almost hit that gnome. Oh, and it's that pig again. Yeah, like, that's really gonna stop me from winning. And there I go. And now it's on to the boss race. Stimpy is gonna be all mine to play as. And you and for this one you unlock Vlad Plasmius. He's a Danny Phantom villain. So here we go. And believe it or not, it's not just Stimpy who's gonna be racing against me, but also Ren. It'd be incomplete without both Ren and Stimpy, right? So let's go as the the boss of the first wave of challenges. And once again, have Sam by my side. I'll pick Eugene and Sunshine, because why not? Standard and... Also standard. Apparently the standards always seem to serve me well. Almost always. So, two against one, eh? I'm sure I can handle odds like this. Sorry, I had to do that, Ren, but... You know, you're stupid, and... Aw, uh, your Stimpy is also stupid, of course. Back here, Stimpy. Only a pendant purpose there. Ah, you fool. I told you I could get ahead. Wait, no I didn't. I never said that. So what am I saying? Here, have some of this. Try to escape that. Oh, it looked like he did, somehow. Oh, oh, that was close. Give me some soda for good measure. Okay, boss ra- oh, that's, okay, stupid me, I, why did I think there'd be only two laps? Well, apparently, Ren really sucks at this race. Then again, Stimpy is the boss after all. Oh, jeez. Don't come any closer, stupid cat. Stimpy doesn't even look like a cat. I mean, what kind of cat would have huge blue noses? And no tail. And now it's over. And thus, Stimpy is all mine. Happy, happy, joy, joy. What did you say? Well, that's it for the second wave of challenges. I think you could probably guess who the third, the third boss is going to be. Not to mention the the boss battle is called Battle of the Avatars, but that's going to be for the next video. I'll see you all later.